I'm going to show it, show this image to you over here. And uh, uh, you know, this is a little blurry, but this is uh, this is the uh, this is uh, what we could get you. This is the image that has been released by by ISRO. And I'm going to once again. Uh, uh, for my audience's knowledge, I'm going to again put this out. Now, th this is the image of the moon, the closest image of the moon that the lander has taken once it has soft landed on the south pole. And here, these are the hard shadows that have been created. Uh, this is one of the four legs of uh, the lander, and this is the shadow that has been created while this picture was being taken. So it has it has become stationary. This station, the stationary position was taken at precisely 6.02 pm so after this stationary position has been taken by the lander uh, its four legs have protruded and it has landed onto the moon's surface on the south pole it takes an image on the left hand side of the moon's surface where it has landed and on the left hand side we can actually see these depressions these black depressions that you see all along on mostly on the top left side and uh, a few of them on the bottom left side as well and uh, these are the bigger depressions over here versus the smaller ones over here and a few of them on the top right as well of the image of the lander that uh, suppose if the so, so if this is the leg of the lander and if you can actually imagine it means that uh, if we if we extend the image and if you were to take to take a picture of the lander from behind so the lander would somewhere land over here on this side so this is the lander this is the camera that it has over here and it has the camera has then captured this image from here so if you can imagine that and and what is also interesting to note is that these craters are even as they look bigger they look big over here in the image you have to actually understand that the that the that the lander is right on the moon and there are much 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 bigger thousands and thousands of kilometer big diameter big craters that are on the surface of the moon and this is perhaps one of the tinier ones maybe maybe a crater that that is of a 2 meter diameter and and even these smaller ones these are just depression they don't look like craters because crater is like it makes a it makes a circular uh, depression when when an asteroid or a meteorite is hitting hitting the earth's surface and creating a crater so this is perhaps uh, this is a full crater and these are other maybe like you know small bumps that uh, the moon has gotten in terms of the scratches that it has gotten after the meteorites or the other other uh, elements on uh, you know uh, roaming around on the on around the lunar orbit have hit hit uh, hit the moon surface the south pole the third feature of this image and very very important in in, in 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 you know interesting is these serpentine waves that have been created on the surface of the moon so so while we know that the moon's surface is hard there is also now indication that there would be uh, dust over here and this this dust there is there is movement that is taking place on the moon's surface so there is uh, uh, there is at this point in time there is uh, you know there is some sort of it's it's a windy uh, area over here uh, and uh, it, it's, it's interesting to note because uh, since we don't have oxygen and we, since we don't have oxygen over there and we don't have H2O, H2O we do have uh, we have uh, uh, water ice but we don't have air so how is it how is it that these serpentine waves are being created on the moon's surface over here so the, it, it is the only possibility of having so is because if there is there is wind over here that is creating these these waves so so it's, it's almost like it's a des desert and these waves are being created uh, on the surface of the moon with the dust that has then accumulated on the moon's surface so so there you have it I've, I've explained to you once again uh, and this 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 image is going to be like you know imprinted in my mind on because this was this was taken right at uh, right after 6 2 pm today today being 23rd uh, 20, 23rd of August 2023 now this is uh, uh, the date that is going to be written in history uh, where ISRO has uh, you know finally achieved this landmark moment after after continuous strife of months and years together 2019 uh, we learned from our failures and 2023 we were back with a bang and uh, we proved to the world what we were capable of achieving on that note I'll take a quick short break and come right back because uh, the countdown is not over right now because we now are waiting for the rover to come out of the lander and land on the moon's surface for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon